you're looking at a man with a heavy heart here. Um, we had we had a great idea. Uh, here's what the idea was going to be. We had a, uh, a satellite and we had a camera crew in the uh, beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. Ooh. And we were going to uh, watch uh, luggage on the, the luggage carousels at uh, uh, the Southwest Terminal. Originally, it was going to be American Airlines, and then yeah. American Airlines in the middle of this labor action right. because they acquired, they merged with a, uh, an airline uh, known as Reno Air. Yeah. You know, if you love to gamble, Reno Air. Yeah. <laughs> Reno Air. Um, so American Airlines said, no, you can't do it because of this labor action. Okay, so, so Southwest Airlines said, sure. Be happy to have you and your uh, late show camera come down there and take a look at luggage as it, you know, goes around on the conveyor belt. And we'll chat with people. We'll just walk up behind them and we'll just kind of look at their luggage with them. That'd be nice. It'd be, uh, you know, fun. It's, believe me, it's breakthrough television. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> uh, so we were all set to go. And then late last night, the city of Dallas said, no. You're kidding. It ain't happening. We don't want you, we don't want you coming down here making fun of other people's luggage. I, I see. <laughs> They apparently have had a lot of luggage trouble in Dallas. Were you uh, aware of that? Lo really? A lot yeah. of people making fun of luggage, honey? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So they said, you, you, can't, uh, you can't do it. Well, you know, that leaves us, uh, you know, kind of, we're screwed because we got the equipment, we got the crew, we got everything. So uh, here's what we decided we would do. And I don't know, uh, uh, undeniably, this is kind of a fallback position, and it may not be as power-packed uh, minute for minute, uh, your entertainment buck. You're not getting as much bang out of this idea as you were the other one. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. But we found a luggage store in the Dallas area. Luggage store. Found a luggage store in the Dallas yeah. area, and we're just going to spend a few minutes having the people in the store tell us about the luggage in the store. It's the All best right. we could do. All turn right. on the satellite. Turn on the camera. Here we go. All the way down to Dallas, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Live via satellite. And we're going into uh, a place called the Preston Luggage and Gifts. There, there it is right there. Preston Luggage and Gifts. All right. We'll go on inside. Yes. Oh, I wonder, are they open? <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's our first breathtaking glimpse of Preston Luggage and Gifts. <laughs> you'll come for the luggage, you'll stay for the gifts. <laughs> This, uh, I'm told this woman's name is Kathy Lind. Is that right, Kathy? Can you hear That's me? That's correct. Yes, I can. Hi, nice to have you with us. I'm Dave Letterman. Sure. We, uh, we do a TV show here in New York City, and thank you very much for your help. I know this is all very last minute, and I appreciate yes, it your is. cooperation. <laughs> How can I help you? How you doing? I'm uh, doing fine. A little yeah. nervous. Uh -huh. Are you a little nervous? Please, please do not be nervous, all right? <laughs> you do, okay. Let's do some deep breathing. You want to do a little deep breathing? Here we go. You want me hyperventilate? Yeah, a little deep breathing. Here we go. <laughs> How can I help you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Trying to make friends, you know, I'm trying to make friends wherever I go. Doing a nice job. I was the only one deep breathing. Uh, I was breathing. deep breathing. Okay. All right. Uh, Kathy, how long have you been in the uh, luggage business there? I've been here for 12 years. 12 years? And uh, where uh -huh. exactly are you? What part of Dallas are you located? It's called Preston Center area. It's Northwest Highway and uh -huh. Preston Road. Are uh, you originally from the Dallas area? I'm really originally from Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh, Shreveport, uh, Louisiana, yeah. just over yes. the state line there, down, uh, down on the Gulf. Is that right? Uh, no, not really the Gulf. Shre Shreveport's not on the Gulf of Mexico? No, it's not. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Sh okay. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy. Uh -huh. Right behind you is shoplifting. There's a big shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> it's star time. If, if you, if you, get, press the silent alarm. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> so Shreveport, where is Shreveport? Is it in the middle? Is it anywhere near Baton Rouge? Yes, it's right next door to it. Yeah, all right. So, uh, yeah. and then you moved to Dallas and you've been in uh, Texas ever since and things are working out pretty well for you. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Doing well. Do you... <laughs> 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 No, it's, oh. it's like, <laughs> we're going home. Uh, 
You know, now, Kathy, you know what the original idea was going to be. We were going out to, uh, we were going to go out to Love Field. <laughs> Kathy? Uh-huh. Could, could you ask that gentleman if, if, if he's going to clean his nails to go in the back room? <laughs> Who is that guy? Uh, this is a uh, salesperson, uh -huh. Al Cordova. Hey, Al. How you doing, buddy? Name? Nice to see you. <laughs> Al, Al, you can tell by looking at him, is salesman of the month. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. How long have you been in luggage, Al? There we go. How long have you been in luggage? Uh, six years. You enjoy it? Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes, very yeah. much. You work straight sales or commission? It's uh, both. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I, I know you're busy. We won't keep you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so now, Kathy, here was the deal. We were going to go to Love Field, uh, the airport, one of the airports there in, in the Dallas area. And we were going to watch uh, luggage come down on the, the baggage carousel. You know, you, you, whenever you travel, you've seen that, right? Oh, yeah. yes. Well, uh, the city uh, of Dallas said, no, you can't do that. We'd rather not have you doing that. It's, it, it poses a, a security threat, I guess. And we said, okay, sure, we don't want to make trouble. So you were nice enough to let us into your uh, luggage store there. So if you mm -hmm. can, I'll ask you some questions about luggage. And then, if you will, just if you can show us, take us, you and Al, take us through the world of luggage. Okay. All right. Sure. Now, first of all, let me ask you about your line. Do you carry the Samsonite? Yes, we do. Huh? Do you carry the American Tourister? No, we do not. What's the problem with American Tourister? Um, <laughs> it, there's no problem yeah. with it. We just carry a little bit the higher end, the better quality. I see. <laughs> so, so Samsonite, you're saying Samsonite is pretty good stuff? It's uh, the higher end stuff? No, no. It, it's more the medium of the road. Okay. All right. How about Lark? Do you carry any of the Lark? Lark is owned by Samsonite. Uh huh. Okay. Louis, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Oh, we don't have Louis Vuitton, but that's the very top of the line. Now, here's something I know the kids like: the Kipling. Do you have those Kipling bags? Do you have any of that? Kipling? Uh, no. But no. we do have uh, some of the Tumi line. Oh, which, the Tumi. Uh, oh, yeah, Tumi. Is... Right. Yeah, got it yes. right down here. Yeah. Yes. Universal Traveler. No. Uh huh. Don't Travel have Pro. That. Yes, we do. Uh huh. Uh, Acme. No. <laughs> I Never just made that up. I didn't think okay. it was on the list. No. <laughs> Thought so. Me, ah. Kathy, let me talk to uh, let me talk to Al. Okay. Let me let me talk to Al just for a second. Is Al? Do you call him right okay, in there. Al, Al, come in here. Let me talk here. to you for a second here. Al, where are you, buddy? Hi, Al. Right here. Al, when you when you're looking at a long day, maybe around the holidays, what makes what makes your job easy? What what line of luggage do you like to move? What sells itself, my friend? What do you prefer? What do you think sells the easiest for you? What kind of luggage? Oh, uh, Tumi luggage. Uh, Tumi. Uh, You'd have to go with the Tumi? It's an easy sale for me. Yeah, easy sale. Good. <coughs> All right. Okay. All right. Now, uh, if you guys can uh, now just show us some of the luggage you have there in stock. All right. Here we go. Paul, sure. Anton, a little luggage viewing music. Whatever you have, the overnight case, the two-suiter, the, the makeup, the hat. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. What are we looking yes. at there, Kathy? Um, we've got our Tumi line through here. Oh, wow, that's nice got, looking stuff. Yeah, it's made out of a ballistic nylon, and they all got your pull-up handles. Now, you say ballistic nylon? Yes, which is a very durable nylon. Does that, does that mean that it's bulletproof? No. Yeah. But it, it's came from the general idea of that, yeah. but it is very durable yeah. nylon. Very durable. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Al? Al? Where'd Al go? He's over here. That's nice. He's coming over here. Very nice. So what does this particular item go for? This one is four five fifty. Uh-huh, five fifty. And uh -huh. that's guaranteed? Yes, it's yeah. guaranteed against workman de uh, defects. Very nice. Al, do me a favor, you jump in there and take one. Go ahead, you pull out one and yeah, you go ahead can you and you explain and it? Go nuts, Al. Make this sale. Come on. Yeah, pull out one and show them. Tell me, Al. Come on. Beat me up. 
Okay, go ahead and sell it to them. Put me over the curb. Get me okay. in traffic. And go ahead and talk. Just oh. tell it. Sell it. Al, apparently Al Al's not hooked up. Yeah. Okay. It's made out of the most durable uh, nylon that they make. It's uh, got the best hardware. It's got the best guarantee in the, in the market. Al, let me ask yeah. you a crucial question for the seasoned traveler. What about those zippers? What about those zippers? What about those zippers? The zippers are like everything else. They've got the best manufacturer. They've got the best... Uh, zippers? Uh, zippers? Did he cover the zippers? they got the best uh, leather. All right, Al, thank you very much. Great best, job. Uh, thank you very much. And Kathy, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Kathy Lind. Down there at Preston Luggage and Gifts. Nice job. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Shreveport, Louisiana, right there. From the Texas. There's, uh, Nor uh, there's Louisiana, and there is uh, Texas right on the line. I was, uh, I'm sorry, I stand corrected. Shreveport, you think it'd be down on the port, like Port Arthur, which is right down the ah, port. Shreveport yeah. is... Yeah, Honest mistake. mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's uh, something also, uh, if you're looking for travel tips, way to make your travel easier, take a look at Al, the luggage salesman. Take a look at the length of Al's tie, you see? <laughs> <laughs> now, he did that. Al did that for a reason. Yeah. When you when you when you got a lot of bags and you're traveling, you're running through the airport. You put one bag in one hand, one in the left hand, and then you tie one to your to tie. the tie. Uh -huh. So you can actually hook one up oh, around your tie that's... and then race. Al, well, ladies and gentlemen, salesman of the month, Texas nice style. Going, Al. Thank you. Got a boy. Keep selling that luggage, my friend. Okay. Uh, the category tonight, ladies and gentlemen, what dumb guys think Y2K is. You know that thing? <laughs> the, the Y2K deal, uh, uh, the, the problem, the computers, 1999, yeah. 2000, yeah. everybody will explode. Here now, <laughs> top 10 list of what dumb guys think Y2K is. Here we go, number 10. That adorable little robot from Star Wars. <laughs> number nine, the main ingredient in Slim Jims. Number eight. <laughs> Something Robert Downey Jr. smokes. Number seven. The all-girl version of it in sync. Number six. Nickname of Dallas Cowboys linebacker Ray y 2 kowitz Number five. What today's episode of Sesame Street was brought to you by? Number four. I don't know, but I think Puff Daddy produced his album. Number three. That stuff in Chinese food that makes you sleepy. Number two. The average chest size of a Hooters employee. Now, the number one thing dumb guys think Y2K is, from Preston Luggage and Gifts in Dallas, Texas, here's Al. That annoying song by the village people. Attaboy, 